Banking information is swiped from dozens of people in the North Chattanooga area, and as the number of victims grows, there are still no answers as to who's behind the fraud. Good evening, and thank you for watching News Channel 9 at 6. This is the developing story we've been covering since last month when the Secret Service confirmed they're investigating the cluster of compromised bank cards. News Channel 9's Karen Zaklak talked to several business owners today who admit it is a serious concern. Karen. Well, Kim and John, we got a hold of several business owners in the area where victims have said their information was stolen. They tell us dozens of customers have been hit, and there's still no answer as to who is behind it. There's definitely a fear. I've I'm scared to use my debit card anywhere in North Chattanooga just because since it's not exactly sure where it is. It's a fear that's filling the North Chattanooga community as more and more people who shop in this Riverview area find out their personal bank information has been hacked. And I got a message that said $144 had just been spent and I knew that that hadn't so I called the bank and looked into it further and it had been spent in Miami. Lucy Morris got the message on her phone from her bank and was furious. She says she's not alone. Her brother, mother and cousin were all hit as well. Through friends and family and like co-workers, I'd say I know at least like 15 or 20. Today we found victims all over the area. We're told scammers hit two employees at the sandbox shop and two more employees at the shop across the street were hacked as well. Morris believes her information was swiped from this kangaroo gas station. When we visited the store, the manager confirmed off camera that as many as 60 customers had reported that money was stolen from their accounts. And the owner of this building, the corner at Riverview, told us by phone that about 20 customers here were scammed as well. So who is stealing the information and how? The kangaroo manager believes this ATM is to blame and showed us the suspicious screen that popped up recently. As for the shops at Riverview, the owner says he has no idea, but says they checked their credit card system and it passed security tests. But for the long list of victims, it's a frustrating and concerning crime that needs to be stopped. I think it's definitely becoming a big issue. So many people have been hit and so much money is being taken before people notice. Several victims told us they believe their account information was swiped at the CVS in Riverview, but their corporate spokesperson tells us they have no reports of any fraud. Now, Chattanooga Police, as well as the Secret Service, are both investigating the claims.